so hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's hannah and today we're going to do or see the process of how i achieve this wrap hairstyle from the nape aka the back of your head so before we get started we are just combing out sectioning out moisturizing you know finger detangling and everything right now so i have finished three quarter of her hair this is the last quarter of her hair then we're going into the actual meat of this video but before we get started let's get go through the tools that was used in this video so firstly i used the pomade dax grease you can use any grease you would like or any oils that you would like to moisturize the scalp i also use a tooth comb not too small that's the rat tail comb we don't use that and not too big that's a big white tooth comb for detangling i didn't use that just the right in between tooth comb will be fine i also use crunches to hold all the sections that were sectioned out and put away here so that i can actually part down everything and when the ending of the hairstyle we have to wrap the hair so what do we need hair pins or you can use bobby pins depending on which one you like to use in order to keep the style wrap and to keep it looking fly So right now I am just massaging it into the scalp, you know, give it a little stimulation so it will soak in and we're sectioning down the hair down the middle. Right down to the back of her head or as you know, the nape. So now that is done, we are going to put away one side of the head and start working on the other side. So this is what the other side looks like. We're sending it from the front of your head straight back to the center of the parting that would make coming in half. So now I'm going to be showing you how it looks when you're plaiting it. So you will be seeing me parting from back and forward. This is just to get the other side alignment nice and neat and together with the other side of how it is patted out and to make sure that the size is the same size as the other side. When you're doing the one side, yes, you don't have a guideline to pass on it, but when you're doing the second side, to so get it looking nice and smooth and uniform and together as the first side that you did, that's how you'll be seeing me patting from the backward and forward. So forward to get it straight, from her circumference and backward to get it aligning up with the first half of the hair that we did. Also when we're patting, we are also patting, starting from the circumference or the edge of your head and making it go straight back into a nice swoop into the back of the head. You'll be hearing me saying in my previous videos of my how to corner and my all up braided video which i will be listed down below and i put at the end of the video that you will part from bigger to smaller but in this hairstyle minute as it is going to the center of your head this is not needed you will sew you will be starting off with the same width as the front of the head and going back with the same width at the back of your head if you would like to put it smaller at the back from starting from big to small just know your wrap will be a bit smaller and your wrap will be more to the back of your head and not from the back to the center top of your head so if you'd like to achieve it just as how i did it so you'll have to make the same width from the front starting point to the back starting point the same also thank you for reaching this far into my video if you haven't subscribed please do so and don't forget to change the alarm button to all so that you will be updated on all videos that i post and please also like comment your thoughts on this video and what else you would like to see me and please share this video to your friends and family
once again you will always meet the naughty knots so don't let them overtake you take your time and come out and detangle the naughty knots also when parting in this direction make sure you are parting or moving in the same direction as the braid is going and you move the person or your head if you're doing it on your head away so that everything will go nice smooth and not all the hair will not be piled up or bunched up in one spot and it will go smoothly lay down nice and everything will be flat Now we're on the last part of the hair and we're almost finished. So now we are going to start wrapping. So when our hair is long and the ends are thick, we are taking the first two, wrap it around each other. The next row, we are not separating the two, we are keeping it together and wrap it around the first wrap. The third two row, wrap it on the next wrap. So each row will be wrapping around the first row that you wrapped around each other, coming down. If you have your own signature way of wrapping your hair, you can still use that yourself but this is how I wrapped her hair today. Now as you reach the ends and the crest is long, we're going to just send it up on the side and tuck them in. And at this point, now we start to use in your pins, your hair pins or your bobby pins to start securing and holding that hair down in place. Because we don't want no wind be blowing and our wrap be flowing. You get what I mean? We want our wrap stay just like that. So this is the finished look of her hair or of this wrap style and if you think your hair is very short no 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 this is how your hair looks if you do this in this hairstyle you add some little beads at the end to hold down that hair and you're good to go so thank you all for watching and i hope you love it and love it and you subscribe to it and i will see you in my next one